go left hand, he's big trash, garbage. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. What's up, man? What's up? It's your boy TGK here with another pre- Dip out on us. Jesus Christ. All right, we good? We good? Look, I'm, I'm on a different place, so internet rocking with me we're gonna have a good show today we're gonna have a good show today but before we get everything started man uh let's check out this uh this little segment in uh, signature intro for the mavericks versus the rockets again the rockets are on a big time winning streak 11 straight games and the mavericks are a win away from being fifth seed tonight it's a big game tonight it's been nothing but big game mavericks but check this out All right, man, I want to go ahead and bring up a special guest to the show, man, a special guest. I've been seeing him putting in work, man. It's an honor to bring up, you know, aspiring mass content creators and, and just content creators in general. I don't like to put them in a box, quote unquote, right? But today we got a special guest, man. Let me show you a little signature and then bring him onto the show, man. Welcome him. Welcome him with open arms as we do everybody else, man. Box yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up, Lockbox? How you doing, man? Man, it is a pleasure to be here in the place where Dallas Mavs fans connect. That's all I can yes, say. Sir. Yes, yes, sir, man. How you? Uh, how you feeling, man? What, what's going on? Um, I, I wanted to, to start off the show with asking you, uh, 
uh, like I did with Mavericks Digest. I just want to ask, like, where did your Mavericks uh, fandom start from and, uh, and what inspired uh, creating the channel, bro? Man, it started a while back. It just, it was one of those things when you're from the city of Dallas, I mean, you can't help but to be a Dallas Mavs fan, a Dallas Cowboy fan, a Texas Rangers mm -hmm. fan. It just fell in line. So that's where it all started. That's what's up, man. And, uh, go ahead and, um, oh, go ahead, go ahead. I was just going to say, and the main reason why I got into creating the content was just because sometimes we get lost on YouTube trying to find the right content, and we end up kind of spending some time where we shouldn't really spend that time. So I was like, like let me create something so I can give people another outlet to validate how you feeling about the team. Is it smoke? Is it fire? Just so many different things that can you know give you that outlet and some consistent content throughout the week, yeah. throughout the numerous channels that we have out here creating in this space. Yeah, bro. And I, I think you do an awesome job, man. You you definitely have a different flair to it, you know? Like, um, again, if you don't mind t telling the people, like, you're, you're opening, a, uh, what is a quote to the show. I think you're trying to introduce a new one, right? Let, let, let us hear it, man. All right. We got MFFL Nation. Mavs Nation, we alive and on your station. And shout out to the yes. subs who always show love. Yes, <laughs> Let's sir. lock in. Yes, sir. Let's lock in, man. Flex bomb, you already know. I know you like using the sound effects too, man. I know you like using sound effects right. too. <laughs> <laughs> I drop them. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. Um, yeah, let, let's before we get started into the show, uh, as you know, I like to uh, let the commenters know and anyone that's watching, you are also a co-host of this show. So anything you want to comment, definitely put a TGK in there or also put a lockbox in there and uh, we'll, we'll respond to your comment uh, accordingly. So let's start off with a couple of comments, bro, if you don't mind. Let's see here. Let's see. Here. For sure. We got we got Noah in the building. Hold on, hold on. Everything's all out of whack, man. It's crazy. Acknowledge me. Noah says, uh, why is Kings fans mad at Luca over Malik Monk getting injured? Luca just big bodied him. Luca didn't mean to hurt him. Ah, of course. Look, you're you're talking about the Kings fans, man. These these Kings fans are more sensitive than you could ever think of, bro. I, mean, I understand why, but also, you know, they did just try to make Luca look bad. You you think Luca purposely tried to do that to him, or what you think? Nah, I mean, Luca got a hard time keeping himself out of injury, so I don't think he's <laughs> definitely trying to jump in there on anybody. I'm just glad that, you know, he's able to, you know, get the process started for him to move on. Yeah, yeah, that definitely. Uh, uh, sorry to hear about that Malik Monk, but it's not like we wanted him injured. It's unfortunate for him, though. No says, I haven't been so excited to watch this team every game in a very long time. And if we win today, we are fifth seed. Lucas MVP is going to be shipped to Dallas. Yeah. Hey, man. Fifth seed. It's on the line tonight. But also, I'm glad you mentioned this because now it's a great time to go ahead and uh, show you some uh, concerning breaking news. Let's go ahead. Let's do a little breaking news segment, Lockbox. Let's do this. All right, man, we got some concerning news. Luka Doncic, man. Luka Doncic with right knee soreness will be a game-time decision to determine if he will play against the Houston Rockets. <sighs> How you feeling it's about tough. this, luck, Bucks? Man, I feel it's tough, but just from what I've seen in the past 48 hours, I'm not surprised. And a lot of other people are not surprised either. Some people are probably happy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he was bleeding from every single part of his knees a couple of, you know, against the King. So, I imagine it's a it's man. soreness, man, but it's tough. Man, he was definitely opening the floodgates. I'll say <laughs> that. Yeah, man. So, uh, again, I, I'll be... Uh, I'll be locked in the grand assets or Mavs PR to see if he becomes available. So hopefully we'll get some good news here in a bit, man. But uh, de definitely not not what you want to see before a critical game. Uh, Lockbox, let me ask you. Do you think the Mavs can beat the Rockets without Luka today? 
Seriously? I honestly think we can. Um, they don't got Shangoon. They got a man Thompson playing small by five. The main advantage of that is going to be the fact that he can run the floor. But when you got D. Gaff and Derek Lively, we got some runners too. So I just feel like, what's it say? Barbecue chicken in the paint all day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man. Barbecue sliders, yeah. anything you can get. Damn, sliders and everything. Sliders, yeah, off top. All that. <laughs> the party platter. Damn, the party platter. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, hold on, man. We got a, a, a $5 super chat from the homie Koi, man. Always. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? It's just uh, Koi the man. Koi the guy. Shout out. Says much, Koi says, much love, TGK. Uh, and uh, Lock Houston has been a problem. Uh, uh, Luca or not, we got it. Yep. I, I like I like that Koi. I like the the confidence we got, man. Cause we we gonna get into like the strategy in a bit, but uh I, you know Lockbox mentioned it where we got size and and I think that's gonna be a big key to today's game. But uh again, Koi, appreciate you, man. Much love right back at you, bro. I appreciate it as always. Let's get into a couple of more comments, Lockbox, and then uh we'll we'll get into we'll get into the show, bro. Uh, Lu, uh Noah sure. says Luca is right, but I'm glad it, it didn't happen. Uh, the Kings should have drafted him. But the chemistry this team is has is great. Luca is letting Kyrie cook. It's not my turn. Uh, me ter- his turn. Everyone is getting involved. Yep, everyone's getting involved. Uh, which pick you talking about, Lockbox? The uh, the the thumbnail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Steady, yeah. ready, man. That much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had, to, I had to put Legit. you on there, bro. I had to put you on there. Yeah. Uh, Frank in the building says, "Uh, what's? Oh, let me hit you with something, Frank." My fault. <laughs> Says, what's more important today? Clippers losing, so Mavs can catch up the fifth seed, or the Kings losing, so uh, to get away from the play-in as far as possible. Uh, all I know is the Pelicans have the same amount of uh, losses as the Mavs do, uh, and if we tie them with a win, uh, the Mavericks are fifth seed tonight. Now, if we're talking about the fourth seed, which I think that's what you actually meant, uh, yeah, we need a we need the Clippers to lose. You know what I'm saying? Um, Lockbox, what do what do you prefer? Do you prefer to be the fifth seed or the fourth seed? I, I mean, it's kind of. I, I want to go all the way, all the way. I'm not worried about anybody behind us. I'm only worried about people in front because we have what it takes to get it done. So yeah. they just need to handle business, and then the dominoes will fall. Yeah, and the Clippers are taking on the the Hornets today, so. The Clippers ain't gonna lose today, uh, but again, if the Mavericks can can find a way to win today, they'll be fifth seed uh, by by the time the game is done, man. It's pretty cool. Uh, let me see here. Let me see. Make sure I got all this shit up. All right, we got Daniel in the building. It says a uh, big game for the Mavericks tonight. Both the Mavericks and the Rockets are hot right now, and I think the Mavericks have to come out and take this game seriously. Yeah, they got to, man. This is this is one of those games where. I hope the Mavericks are still good enough, to, good enough to be able to beat them even without Luka. You know, uh, this, this is gonna be one of the, the, the bigger aspects to the, today's game. Uh, Nate says, "TJK, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm, it's hot in this room, but you know we're gonna make it work." Uh, welcome, Lockbox. Hope we have a game plan, uh, a plan to have lockdown defense at all times on Green. I really believe we can win this game. And then uh, Daniel says, uh, also, Luca is a game time decision to play tonight with right knee soreness. It's better than the left Achilles soreness. I hope that Luca plays because all of these games are important. Yeah, they're important. I got my eyes on a uh, mass PR to see if we got any, uh, any update. Let me double check here. Nothing yet. Nothing yet, man. Um, all right, man. Uh, I don't have any uh, a news and rumor segment, but uh, uh Logbox, I wanted to ask you because I, I watched your video earlier and you alluded to some of the issues that the Houston Rockets fans were having with Shen Goon and, uh, and Green. Uh, do you mind elaborating on what these issues are? Like, what, what's the shambles the Houston Rockets fans are dealing with right now? The main thing the Houston Rockets fans are dealing with is the fact is, can these two players coexist? You got Jalen and then you got Shen Goon. Say, I mean, it's just a tough topic because Green hasn't been unlocked until Shangoon went out of the starting lineup, which brings it back to Amin. 
that's going to be their biggest X factor tonight. Being able to run the court. The fans don't know how to feel about it. One minute it's Jalen Green, then it's Shangoon. And it's even gotten to the point where they're thinking about trading or at least talks about trading. Houston Rockets fans, they're very sensitive about the sit the subject matter, but I mean it's something to definitely look at because if they introduce Shangoon back into the lineup and his numbers drop off, because in this point he's been getting consistent touches. And that's another thing about that's gonna be good for us in the game today. Most of his shots don't come straight off the pass. He's gonna need to dribble. And we got a lot of weapons to throw at him to get him off that rhythm. He's basically a rhythm player. And unfortunately for a lot of other teams, he been in rhythm for a couple of games. But PJL is real. <laughs> the inspector, DJJ is real. So, I like I like that. <laughs> I like that. That makes sense. My magnifying glass. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah. Um. And and I think uh, what's the name? Uh, damn. What's the coach's name? Uh, for the Rockets, I don't forgot. Ime. Ime Udoka, Ime. right? He, he he was talking about because they asked him this question. They asked Ime Udoka about whether there's some validity to the whole Shen Goon going out and unlocking a, a green. And uh, he was saying that there really wasn't much to it because they've been playing with more pace even before he got injured. But then he got injured, so now it looks like, you know, what it looks like now. Um, and uh, now I've been looking at a lot of uh, Houston Rockets uh, podcasts, and they were they were trying to defend that narrative too. So they're kind of it's it's tough because they've been in a bit of a pickle. Because uh, who is it? Uh, Amir, or is that how you say Amir Thompson? Amir. Yeah, he's been able to lock, uh, unlock that offense because they're playing small ball. However, they've been playing opponents that are good, where they rested their good players, like the Cavaliers, and then they played a, a pretty good team in, in OKC Thunder. Uh, but it, it took it took Jalen Green shooting like sixty percent from the field to give them a chance to go into overtime and win it, right? Um, and again, kudos to them. Eleven wins in a row, or eleven wins in a row—that's amazing. Uh, but I I do feel like. I do feel like the Mavericks, even without Luka, I still think they could do it just because of the sheer size they have. And who on their team is going to guard Kyrie, you know? Yeah. And then another thing, Shea didn't even play in the Oklahoma game. Oh, he so, did Oh. No, nah, he, he didn't even play. So if they had problems with them, not to mention they don't have a legitimate big man and we got 40 plus minutes of solid center play, vertical line uh, threats i understand a man might have a long wingspan but daniel gaffer still has to collect the rent yep <laughs> everybody pays the rent everybody does pay the rent <laughs> mm -hmm. have to do some praying. yeah and, 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 and uh gaffer wants that rent by monday by mm -hmm. monday not, not a day later not a day not a, a day late um Let's get back in a couple of comments right quick. DV, DV in the building. Hold on, DV. I got you. I got your sound effect. It's a, it's a bit of a sticky one, one still. still. <laughs> uh, he says, yo, I smell a fifth seed. You know, I, I smell carne asada back there. Uh, but uh, <laughs> we, 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 we're having a little fajita a fajita party tonight. So uh, we got some beans cooking. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good time here. Uh, once the game starts, but uh, yeah, I, I smell something, man. I, I smell, I smell fifth seed too, man. You know, you know, if we get fifth seed today, do you think the uh, Luca MVP uh, narratives are gonna go crazy tomorrow on these national media shows? The the mainstream media is hit or miss. Most thing we'll probably get is a few hate videos. Um, mm -hmm. Why? we have not seen everything what we're missing from the team that we watch every day i mean we might get a few you know tim legs is always speaking sure, good sure. yeah uh, i can see tim Legs giving us uh some props because I, I don't think he's gotten to talk about i think he has talked about the uh, the mavericks win against the kings but if 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 we end up breaking the streak today against the thunder i mean against the rockets that that's 
that that's that, that should start most of the shows tomorrow but uh, that probably won't be what what happens tomorrow uh but we got, I got a big I took a different route. I no pick or the we got big j in the building it says uh let's let's get there win and we need to dominate from the tip no playing with your food uh no diddy uh as they as they say right uh, uh big j <laughs> Uh, what we got? Let's get some more either TGK or uh, let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Gina Kim is in the building. What's up, Gina Kim? Say hey, TGK Houston. You have a problem. Yes, they do. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> My guy Ernesto in the building. Mavericks country. Let's ride. Yeah, man. I need. I need to. I need to redo. Uh, uh what's his name? Uh. Russell Westbrook's, uh, no, Russell Wilson's uh, uh, quote. I, 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 could, I could make something out of that. Uh, but we got another super chat in the building, man. The homie Malcolm Williams. What's up, bro? He says, uh, TGK and Locke, what is one thing kid needs to do consistently going forward in the last nine games into the playoffs? Both keep doing great work, my guys. So what, what are you thinking, Locke? Uh, what does a kid need to do uh, consistently moving forward after these uh, last nine games? I mean, is, has Jason Kidd done anything consistently so far? He's, kinda, <laughs> he's been playing with our emotions this whole time. Uh, I honestly think consistently he's going to play Maxi tonight. Maybe a lot. Mm. Mm. Just because of the size. So, I mean, it just depends on the matchup. <sighs> I'm, stay yeah. focused on defense. Yeah, that'll be my best defense, defense, defense. Yeah, we I, got Luca, we got was, Kyrie. Oh my bad. No, you good, you good, you good, bro. Um, no, I, was, I would say for me. Go ahead, you, I'll stop you. Good. There's I, a there's a little delay. You good, you good. You got it. Go ahead. I was just gonna say because when we got Kyrie, then who else we gonna have? We gonna have Dante Exum. I mean, a big moment X factor. I'm not gonna say a big X factor because he shows up in big moments where we need him, and we got all our defense. So I mean, we definitely gonna be able to handle business. Yeah, uh, Malcolm. I say for me, the, the the more consistent thing that I need to see is whenever THJ is not hitting and the way he benches him in the fourth, I need him to keep that going. Uh, I don't care if that makes him feel bad about his shooting, because if his shots on, he's gonna leave him in, and he's. He's valuable at that because, uh, for example, you know when Exum took those three straight threes in the fourth and uh, missed two of them, made one. Say that was THJ, right? And he left THJ in there while he's been having a bad game. THJ is not making any of those, right? But say THJ is having a good game up to that fourth, then you you have a reason to leave him in because it, he is a threat. He is quote unquote a better shooter than Exum. So then you leave him in there, and then he could knock down maybe two of those three. Who knows, right? But I, I, I need to see Kid be consistent with benching players when they're not playing good. Recently, he's done that, and that's what I want to see. Everything else that he's done has been what I've wanted. Starting Gafford, playing the center's rotation. He's been doing that more often, um, where a center for center comes in. Only one time in the game against the Kings, he brought in uh, Maxi Kleba, and I think that was like the final possession or whatever. Other than that, honestly, kudos to Kid and how the way he's been coaching as of late. Again, it's taken me a long time to be against him. Right now, I'm on the that against Jason Kidd uh, fence, but he's been coaching his ass off. And if he could just maintain that, I'll revert my way back to being on, on, on Jason Kidd's side because, remember, it's taken me almost two and a half years to, to lose trust. Right now, I don't have the full trust of him. But, again, he's been doing things that uh, remind me of that Western Conference run, and I just hope that is the kid we get. Uh, uh, honestly, it's always going to be Jason Kidd for me. He's an X-Factor, and as long as he's – being better as a coach, that's what I want him to, to, to keep and maintain moving forward. Um, damn, uh, let me see. Let me see where we at. Let me see where we at. Uh, the homie Rel from uh, We Talk Maps. He in the building. He's, he's sending you a shout out, Lock. Man, You're I already. appreciate it. Here we go. The, the Mavengers. I don't, I don't have my, uh, my little fake uh, Iron Man. Uh, thing here uh mailbox says uh how was the tiebreaker with pelicans determined so uh mailbox it is uh right now the mavericks and pelicans their season record against each other is two two and two so it's a tie right the only other way to determine another tiebreaker 
is division record. Right now, the Pelicans have a nine and six record against uh, the division, and we're all in the same division. And the Mavericks have a nine and five record in that division, so they have one one less loss. And if the Mavericks win today, then they go ten and five in the division, so they'll have the better division record. And by proxy, they'll have the fifth seed. That's how that works. I just wanted to explain that. Oh, the homie Joe in the building. <laughs> He says, uh, checking in. What's up, Joe? What's up, my guy? <laughs> uh, Scoot Dog. I hope I'm saying that right, Scoot Dog. I'm going to just say 98. Uh, Luca woke up saying, bring me Malik. <laughs> nah, come on. I don't think Luca like that, you know, but uh, I get That's it. That's tough. Uh, Ultra, <laughs> Ultra in the building. So let's go, Mavs. What up, Lockbox? Man, Ultra, Ultra, one of the day ones, man. Salute to Ultra. Hey. Uh, we, love we also got... We also got TMP Damn, in the building. son, where'd you find this? TMP is also another mass pod, man. He be doing post-game shows. Check him out. He, he be streaming. Uh, he say, I just I just subbed a lock. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Okay, I'm going to try to get mass pod on here in one, one of these days. Uh, Nick's in the building. What's up, Nick's? Uh, let, me, let me hit you with something, bro. He says, TJK, I'm not worried even without Luka because Kai could beat the Rockets himself. And Kai, we trust. You know what? I have a poll on the uh in the uh the chat below i said uh <laughs> does uh houston have a problem tonight 93 percent of y'all saying uh hell yeah they do um <laughs> let me let, <laughs> let me ask another let me ask another question right Thanks. can can the mavs right beat the rockets without luca and it's gonna be a simple yes or no answer I see we got 24 likes in in the uh, in the uh, on the video, man. Y'all definitely drop a like, goes a long way, you know. Hel helps the channel grow. Also, definitely sub to Lockbox right here, man. Uh, uh, great content creator as well. But again, uh, leaving a like on the video goes a long way. It brings more attention to the channel. It uh, does the algorithm thing to get it to other Mass fans, and we just want to create an awesome community here, man, for Mass fans. Um, uh oh, we got Pasquale in the building. Oh, Pasquale. <laughs> He says, uh, sup, ma, or man, welcome to your guest. Uh, I agree we could take the Rockets with no Luka. We have that two-headed monster in the paint, PJ and DJJ, going uh, to be physical with them. Kai is going to Kai. Let's go. Yes, sir. So, you not, and y'all got them kind of comments. I got to hit y'all with them. Uh, so, there's two new emojis uh, for the members only. For those that are members only, uh, y'all got two new emojis y'all can uh, rock with. Uh, I added the uh, the added the Green Ranger and a Jason Kidd Pockets one, man. So hopefully, uh, hopefully they enjoy those ones, you know. Uh, type type deal. Uh, and then let me read this last comment. And we'll get started on uh, an opponent review, bro. We'll do that in a bit. Uh, Colin in the building. What's up, Colin? Since uh, 6 a.m. here, but set my alarm so I didn't miss a huge game. But my confidence rising that these Mavs are about to do something special and not going to miss a second of it. Hey, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. All right, let me see. Let me see. All right, cool. All right, let me get one more in for the homie. Tone Swan, what's up, man? Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Says, uh, how do you feel? How do you feel about Luca and Tim relationship in basketball? Tim seems to praise Kai a lot more than Luca. Tim always says a little slick stuff when it comes to Luca. Sometimes it, it could just be me. Uh, Lockbox, what, what do you think about that? You think there's anything, any validity to that? If it is, I mean, I feel Luca shouldn't feel any type of way. We all know the type of player Kyrie Irving is, so therefore if he wants to shift over to somebody who he feels might be able to show him some different things knowing that they are a master of their craft then as long as it's not disrespectful as long as it keep him getting points when he needs to get points and he's been locked in <laughs> on the defensive end because yeah. i made a video saying that thj's dribbling is smoking fire pj's shot smoking fire I said, THJ, you mean to tell me you haven't had any chance to go in there early and work with Kyrie Irving on that handling on the Mackin and drill? <laughs> All right. So he might be listening now. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and he has been playing better as of later. The last Kings game wasn't the greatest. But as far as for me, uh, if anything, 
it might be a Tim Senior thing, you know. Uh, so I'm not I'm not worried about what Tim Hardaway Jr. got to say about Luca. Like, uh, I think Tim Hardaway has been supportive of Luca a lot. So it, if it does seem slick, I don't think there's m- much to it anyway. Because I think if anything, the Mavs are going to try to improve the team next year, and he might be on the chopping block at the end of the day. You know, it is what it is. And, All right, man. And then when you think oh, about ahead. it. I was just going to say, and then when you think about it, if it was that bad, like the Grant Williams situation, mm. it would have been gone. Yep. So, mm, yeah. you know. It would have would have been dealt with by then, huh? Facts. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Uh, no, no Luca news yet. No Luca news yet that I've seen. I'm trying to see here. Just trying to see if there's any news on Luca. I don't see anything yet. No, Grand Absent hasn't said anything. Nothing about Luca. All right, man. We're we just gonna be we're gonna be pending uh, unless y'all in the comments want to let us know whenever uh, news comes out. Uh, but yeah, man. Let's go ahead and let's do a opponent uh, opponent review. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it going. Hold on. I can't even. I don't have my mouse, so my stuff's all messed up. Today. How you want it? Show me my opponent. Show me my opponent. Yes, sir. Let me get this up here. Here we go. Here we go. All right, man. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Rockets uh, depth chart. Again, our friend Shingun, he is out. So you're looking at a starting five of Fred Van Fleet, Jalen Green, Amen Thompson, Dylan Brooks, and Jabari Smith. Your three man is is basically playing small ball five. Is that is that how I read this? Yep, that's is that how, is that, that's is, the plan. Is that how they, they they using it? That's their plan. That's how. Got it. That's the plan. <laughs> Got him throwing down a, deep outlet passes, straight off the rebound. He's crashing the glass. As long as we box out, he gonna be out of commission. Yeah, yeah, man. I, it's like even Jabari Smith, right? Jabari Smith, uh, if he's setting like the picks for them, I don't think he's that great of an offensive like weapon necessarily, like like making plays happen. So I see why they use Amen Thompson because obviously he's a little more capable to make other plays happen. But uh, again, uh, looking at that starting five, it that's a pretty. I mean, how how big is Jabari Smith? Let's see. How tall is this man? All right, six eleven. That's pretty good. I ain't gonna lie, that's pretty good. Uh, we know Dylan Brooks should not be a power forward, but how tall is Amen Thompson? Let's see. You already know how my how my ESPN website be uh, tripping here. Let's see. Amen Thompson. He's six seven. Damn, a six seven five. A six seven five man. That's crazy. Sounds like the Mavericks when we had a a six six five man in Grant Williams. It's crazy, 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 crazy. Yeah, we got, we got to take advantage of them in the paint, man. All right, uh, again, uh, that's their starters right there. Their second unit is Aaron Holiday, Reggie Bullock. I got my Reggie Bullock jersey on just because uh, I was going to say Reggie. shout out Reggie. <laughs> uh, they got Cam Whitmore as well, Jeff Green, Jock uh, Landell, uh, then Ja'Shawn Tate. I've heard he's he gets plenty of minutes. I'm not sure, though. Uh, they also have Jeff Green. Hey, he's still in the league. And then Boban Marjanovic. Boban, you know, a lot of Mass fans want him back for some reason. They're, they're willing to trade her first. Nah, just kidding, just kidding. Uh, let's take a look at their stats. Uh, pull it up here. Not their schedule. ESPN, man. ESPN something else. Like, if I hover over a specific thing, it selects a whole different thing. Yo, that's mad annoying. All right. All right. Stats. There it goes. Now we got it. Jesus Christ, man. See what I gotta go through, Larkbox? It's crazy, man. Um, so Alfred and Shangun, man, they losing a lot of production with him being out, by the way. 21 points and nine rebounds. That's crazy. Uh Fred Van Fleet uh, is averaging eight assists, 1.3 steals. And Fred Van Fleet is averaging the most blocks on this team per game. Yeah, man. The Mavs need to cook these dudes. Uh Jalen Green, right now he's averaging 20 points per game, but I believe he's He's been averaging around 30 uh, while uh, when Alfred went out. Uh, they also have Fever and Fleet averaging almost 17 points a game. Jabari Smith around 14. Dylan Brooks around 13. Cam Whitmore around, thir- around 12. Tyree Eason, uh, I've heard 
pretty good things from him. And then Amin Thompson. And then it just keeps going on and going on. Um, they're averaging 114 points per game. Let's take a look at their threes to see who the sharpshooter is on this team. Uh, Reggie Bullock is averaging 40% on two shots per game. Aaron Holiday, uh, three shots per game, averaging 40%. Fred Van Fleet, 38% with eight shots per game. And then Dylan Brooks and Cam Whitmore and Eason, they're all averaging 36% with a decent volume. And um, Jabari Smith at uh, 35% with five shots per game. And then Jalen Green, 34% with seven shots per game. So they got some shooters on this team, bro. They got some shooters on this team. So uh, seeing uh, how they've been playing, um, what is what would be your bigger focus? Stopping Jalen Green or stopping uh, uh, their open threes? Stopping Jalen Green. Mm. I feel like a lot of – that's the only reason why the game went into overtime. They say he's playing God tier. <laughs> but he's gonna have to come back down to earth, and he about to go against the right team that'll put him back in the, you know, just be able to put things into perspective. Ah, so, yes. My thoughts. Yeah, no, I, I like that, man. Put put them back into perspective, because you know when the Mavericks went on that 2011 Finals run, um, they were breaking streaks, man, and this is part of that uh, journey. They got to break some more streaks, and then this is a really good streak to break. It's against a. Uh, or an interstate rival, you know? And uh, as we've been saying, I would love to end today and say, hey, Houston. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. You know, I love to say that they have a problem today. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Nick says, uh, can you add green beans, potatoes, tomato soundbite? Yes, I can. And then, and then what, when should I play this? That's the, that's the other question. Uh... Let me see. Hold on. I'm, I'm pretty sure I can find it. Yeah. Yeah, I found it. Uh, Nix, when, when do you want me to use this soundbite? Let me just, <laughs> let me know. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can use it whenever, but it ain't Thanksgiving yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, uh, Lockbox, besides J, uh, Jalen Green, what is a... Uh, what is something else we need to look forward uh, to defending uh, the Houston Rockets today, man? We're going to have to keep the uh, the, the twin of uh, men. We're going to have to keep them off the boards. We're going to have to keep them away from the glass. Because from what I've heard is his wingspan is massive. And that's one reason why he's able to get in those blocks. He grabs rebounds like me on 2K. I'm just sliding in there, <laughs> running in, jumping up. And he's getting them almost a lot more times than not. So that means if he's getting those rebounds, they're getting second chance shots. We got to limit all that. On the glass, oh. rebounds matter. Shout out. Lockbox. Lockbox. We got some news, man. We got some news. Check it out. Check it out. Sound the, li- the sirens. Luka Doncic is available to play against the Houston Rockets, man. We, uh, how you say, Mavs Nation, we are live and in your station. How you, that's how you say it, right? <laughs> MFL Nation, Mavs Nation, we are live on your station. And my boy Luca Doncic, it's going down for real tonight. Everybody in the chat, put all the Luca emojis, put the Luca emojis down below, man. If y'all rocking with Luca playing today with right knee soreness, man, put the Luca emojis down below. <laughs> Show, show that support to Luca, man. Uh, we got Daniel in the building, man. What's up, Daniel? He says, uh, I do agree that we have the size to match up with Houston. We just have to play solid defense to hit our threes when given. I'm going to say Mavs win 127-102. Hey, we don't have to win without Kyrie now, but I just wanted to see what the poll, what, what, what uh, our percentages were. And people said after fi- 49 votes, man, some of y'all voting. 80 or 50 votes jesus christ uh 86 percent of y'all said yes the Mavericks could beat the rocks without luca now they have luca so i'm assuming that's 100 percent, right 51 votes we got 51 votes but only 31 likes man let's get let's get the likes up ladies and gentlemen what we gotta do to get a like up in here i got beans creams potatoes tomatoes lamb greens, the raw, the raw, the raw, beans creams potatoes tomatoes chicken chicken, 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 chicken. you name it all right man <laughs> yes sir yes sir 
Let's get some likes in here, man. Uh, Luke in the building says, uh, love Kyrie calling out Dante with the Aussie, Aussie, Aussie after hitting the game uh, winning shot versus Sacramento. Us Australians love both. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Yeah, I love that too, man. Uh, when I saw it happen, I was like, that's what's up, Kai. That, that was dope. Well, what did you think when you saw Kyrie do the whole uh, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie? Man, it was, it was an experience that you can tell that the team is coming together. Mm. And it's showing in their play. They're able to relate to each other off the court, on the court. It's just a beautiful thing to see. And we have not seen so many beautiful things in the past year. It's good to finally have a team that mm. we can actually stand by. So glad yeah, we yeah. stand by. Yeah, no, that's dope, man. And it's cool how you have three Australians on the team. Like I didn't even know Kyrie was Australian until like late last season. So I was like, what? I did not know. So that's 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 a it was pretty dope. So uh it's dope, dope seeing Kyrie do that. The homie Alex in the building said, uh, love these mass content creator collabs. Fire emoji, yes sir. Yeah, it's dope, man. It's dope. It's, it's dope how I don't even know how many other like uh, teams like if they got a like a content creator lineup like we do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. Know, maybe the Knicks do. I'm not sure, right? Maybe Atlanta does. I don't know. Maybe the Los Angeles Lakers do. But when you stack ours up against them, I don't know, bro. I don't think anybody messing with the Mavs. You know. Uh, Nick's in the building. Uh, hold on. Let me, uh, all right. Nick says, uh, I agree. J kid is the X factor. TJ is also an X factor. Yeah. Hey. Uh, I called this TGK lock collab a while back. Good to see it come to fruition. Yes, sir. He called the Knicks. He called it. <laughs> Respect. Uh, go, go goo in the building. Son, where'd you find this? Said, Yo, TGK TV, my pregame Mavs dosage. Yes, sir. You already know, man. I got y'all. I got y'all locked in here with lock, lock box entertainment. Um, let me see. Uh, Tone Swan using the, the J Kid and uh, Green Ranger. I see you. Gina Kim says, Uh, I think we could beat them without Luca, but it would be tougher. Well, you know, good thing Luca is playing. Let me drop down here in the comments and catch up. Uh, Lexter, hello, Master Man for Life for the Philippines. What's up? Y'all are watching this game. Appreciate you checking in with us, man. It means a lot. I know y'all be staying up late or waking up early to watch, so appreciate it. Rui in the building. What's up, Rui? Said, yo, what up? What up, TGK? Ready for the four seed maps? We going to the finals. Ooh. The finals, bro. Any in the building, my God, man. We, we need any for a, a pregame show one of these days. And Luca is in. He's ready to go. Locked in and ready to ready to hit the court, man. Uh Joe says Luca is playing. Yeah. I beat y'all to it, man. Now I'm playing. <laughs> Nick says, uh, when, you, <laughs> when you brought a fajitas, it reminded me of that soundbite for some reason. Ah, okay. I got these creams, potatoes, tomatoes. Yeah, I need that. I need that. <laughs> I'm ready to, to end the show, so I go get some food. I ain't going to lie. Richard Case is in the building. What's up, Richard? I can only play like three seconds of that before they uh, try to copyright it. He says, what's up, y'all? I just woke up, so I have to rewatch the beginning later. Appreciate it, man. Uh, Pasquale says this win will help our division record and could be used as a tiebreaker with the Pelicans. Big game. Yeah, man. Big game for sure. Johnny B is in the building. He said TGK. Yes, sir. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, he said uh, Pasquale said get the likes up. Yeah, man. Get them likes up, man. And I believe Luca's gonna get 34, a 34 point triple double. Kyrie might get 32 also. I think I'll also add that Gafford is gonna get a double double too. Yeah, I got some picks uh, with Gafford. You make any picks today for the Mavs game, bro? Nah, I didn't make like no that? pick. I need to. <laughs> <laughs> for real. I took like last game, I had predicted that the Sacramento Kings was gonna score 103. I thought we was gonna get about 115, but. I, I could have hit something. <laughs> yeah, he predicted that to the T. Uh, so what I got for the Mavs today, right? I got I got Luca on sale with 26 points today. 26 and a half. I took his over. I took Jalen Green's threes over because that's really, he shoots a lot of them. I got one Kyrie steal, okay? I took a Kyrie steal over. I got Dylan Brooks rebounds at four or three and a half. I took PJ Washington's rebounds at five and a half. I took Maxi Kleber for 1-3 today, okay? 
Then I took Gafford for seven and a half rebounds. Okay. And then the last one was Derek Lively, uh, one and a half steal and blocks. I feel like th- that should hit. I ain't gonna lie. Five bucks for 500. Say no more, right? So, that, that, that's, Man. What, that's what I got. Send me the link. I'm about to get it. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 will. I will. I got you, dog. I got you. Hold on. Shoot. And then that, I can send it to you. That way you have uh, enough time to be able to uh, put in a put in a roster, put in a little play. Uh, but yeah, man. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Lawrence in the building. What's up, Lawrence? If we win, do we take over fifth spot? Yep, we do solely by tiebreakers. Uh, we have a better division record than the Pelicans. Uh, Johnny B says, not familiar with the guests, but I'm going to definitely lock in. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, bro. Uh, Nancy says, I think uh, Jason Kidd would have a hard time trying to keep Luca out of this game when Luca really wants to play. No one's telling him no. Exactly. Yeah, man. When you when you feel like you can play, you're going to play. Uh, Rich K says, free bingo with or without our stars. Don't fear the bagger, just the bear. I'm dead. <laughs> Richard K. Sone, man. Uh, Savage, what's up, Savage? What's up? Says, mad fan for life from Flor- Orlando, Florida. Here I go again saying Florida, Orlando. Orlando, Florida. Let's get this W. I probably have an issue reading when it comes to these things, man. Uh, Gina Kim says, fifth seed incoming, and if we win, hopefully the Suns can beat the Pels tomorrow, too. Add some cushion, right? Add some cushion. Luca MVP 77, or MVP Luca says, best pregame show in the business. Thank you, bro. Thank you, my guy. Um... All right, man. Let's get into another segment, bro. Uh, which one? Which one are we gonna do? Which one should we do? Uh, let's see. Let's see. It don't even I think matter. it's time. I think it's time, man. I think it's time to start coaching with Mister Jason Kidd himself. What Damn. you think? You want to coach your kid for a I little agree. bit? Let's coach your kid. Yeah, man. I'm not the savior here. I'm not playing. I'm watching, just like you guys. That's just the season. No one's dying. So write some positive shit. I just asked you a question. And I'm giving you a fucking answer. Hey, hey, we here coaching with Jason Kidd. We in the locker room to get things going, to get this team hyped and ready to go out there and deliver a game today, man. Uh, let me put this in the background. There we go. X's and O's, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Lockbox. If you go ahead and uh, break it down to us, like if you're a coach kid, what is a specific game plan you'd have today for for the Mavericks against the Rockets? Be physical. Get in their chest. Don't let them get easy looks. No straight line drives to the basket. If, if they're if they're even, they're leaving. So we gotta <laughs> make sure we stay in front of them. So for those puppies in the words of Kendrick Perkins. Active hands, getting the passing lanes. This game is going to be won on defense. Not saying that we won't be able to shoot, I'll shoot them, but defense is going to be where this game is. We're going to have to make a statement, especially if we want them to talk about us tomorrow. It have to be a defense of clinic tonight. That's what mm. we need. Mm. We need to, we need to give them a, a problem, right? Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. I would say since you leaned on the defense, I'll lean on the offense. If it's the Mavericks and you got Luka, you need to attack their little people. They got little people on their team. They got Fred Van Fleet. They got Jalen Green. They even got Dylan Brooks. I don't care how tall he is, how physical he is. Luka still cooks that man. Kyrie still cooks that man. Expose these dudes, even the Jabari Smith. Is Jabari Smith going to keep up with Kyrie in isolation? Is Jabari Smith going to keep up with Luka in isolation? Their best defender is Amen Thompson. That's literally it. So, when it comes to strategically going at these Houston Rockets, put Luka in the post versus Fred Van Fleet, please. Put Kyrie against Jabari Smith. Open up the court. Run pick and rolls with Daniel Gafford because who's going to stop him? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is... This is what makes it so easy for the Dallas Mavericks. When you got people like Luka and you got people like Kyrie, you can have and expose mismatches against your opponent. And when they are so small in specific and critical positions like point guard, like the small, like the shooting guard, or even small forward, that is where the Mavericks need to take advantage and utilize what they have in front of them. So offensively, attack the little guys, make them double, Make it easier for you, right? When you look at the Kings game, you saw Luka got doubled at half court 
for the game winning shot. Luca gets doubled at half court for the game winning shot. Imagine what what they're gonna do if Luca posts up Fred Van Fleet. It's gonna make it easier for anybody else, man. Post up Fred Van Fleet if you can, but find mismatches wherever you can and take advantage of these little these little rockets. <laughs> take advantage of these little rockets, man. So, can, can we do it? Uh, Nick's on the uh, on the sound bite, the one you just got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Them boys is going to be... I got things, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, grains, raw, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, chicken, <laughs> chicken, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Them boys is getting cooked up tonight. They're yeah, we get serving them up, up man. Kill it. It's, it's going to be a Texas barbecue tonight in Houston, man. You already know how it goes. All right, man. That has been Coaching with Jason Key. Yeah, I'm not the savior here. I'm not playing. I'm watching, just like you guys. That's just the season. No one's dying. Oh damn! I didn't. Uh, my bad. I had yeah. It, I'm man. not the savior here. I'm not playing. I'm watching, just like you guys. That's just the season. No one's dying. So write some positive shit. I just asked you a question. And I'm giving you a fucking answer. That literally has to be one of my favorite signatures I've ever created, man. It's funny. Hey, it's always, it's always hard funny. work pays off. <laughs> yes, sir. Right. Twitter's a hell of a coach. Yeah, tw Twitter is a hell of a coach, J Kid. <laughs> um, maybe we'll watch Major League and get some Kentucky Fried Chicken, and uh, and put that in his locker. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, look. Whenever we're winning, those quotes are hilarious, right? When we're when we're losing, I don't want to hear it, you know. But he gives it to us when we're losing. He gives us these great quotes when we're losing, and I'm like, bro, I don't want to hear about no Kentucky Fried Chicken and put it in his locker, you know. But when we're winning, give me those quotes, right? Like, it's crazy. <laughs> you literally can make a whole video and people will watch it straight. Jason Kidd quotes. Yeah. This moment. That's that is going yeah. viral. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, MVP Lucas says uh, honey ham segment. Yeah, damn. Yeah, you, see, y'all done started something, Nick. See what y'all started, man. Uh, <laughs> Brandon says uh, Luca loves playing against Brooks. He does. He does. And the Mavs, the Mavs cooked the Rockets earlier this season. That's when Kyrie had that crazy acrobatic uh, reverse lay in. I remember that game. Um, Nick says the Mavs need to get hot from three and blow them out. Luca could use another fourth quarter rest. Yeah. Uh, good thing they're playing late Tuesday night, you know, so hopefully that helps them. Uh, Martin Blake says, uh, TGK facts, Rockets lucky they had, they didn't face a team uh, that have long uh, wings in these weak ass streaks of theirs. Uh, they're going to get exposed tonight. Yeah. Tonight, the Mavericks need to take care of business. The Mavericks have to take care of business, man. Richard K says, uh, Madam Clairvoyant says Mavs by 10, so it must be true. Oh. And then uh, Rich K says, uh, Lockbox, join the fight. Tell Bobby Corella. Maxi says, <laughs> uh, Rich K has a beef hey. with uh, Bobby Corella, man. <laughs> so, TGK, yeah. I I've been wanting to tell Richard this for the longest. Because he yeah. asked me, what, what, who is Maxi Garden on defense? Rich, I'm, I'm sad to tell you. I can't, I don't have an answer for you. I just know he is a body that we can throw out there and he knows where to stand and he knows yeah. how to move out the way. I'm talking about move over. So as of right now, Maxi, see, hit or miss. <laughs> <laughs> hit or miss. Yeah. So yeah. that's what we got in Maxi. It's just another body, another another six fouls you can utilize out there, you know. And, yep. and whenever he shoot, whenever he shoots, if he if he makes it, we could do this. Timmy! You know, because it's him and Timmy are right there. They're locked in together right now. Uh, Daniel says, I think PJ is gonna lock up Jalen Green tonight. You got Jalen Green, you got Exum, and you got DJJ to throw at him. Honestly, I, I'm really thinking of it like. Besides Jalen Green, right? And I know Fred Van Fleet, he has some capabilities. But Jalen Green's their biggest offensive weapon. Like, literally the only offensive weapon. 
honestly, if you really stop him, you you cut off the head of the snake, you know? Like, mm-hmm. is there anyone else in the team that you could think of, Lockbox? It's like, oh, you know, I'm scared of this guy. Nah. And I'm barely scared of, of Green. It's just, at this yeah. point in time, his shots are starting to fall. Uh, he's just been putting, uh, I guess, a good situation for him to go out there and ball out. I mean, but it's going to be hard when you got what we got on the defensive end coming at you all night. So either you're going to be tired or you're just going to be chunking up shots. So I don't know what to tell him. It's going to be a long night for that young man. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, man, I just saw someone walk in front of my window. What the hell? All right, man. Uh, before we move on to the next segment, I uh, definitely just wanted to do a cheap plug of uh, my... Uh, membership that we got again it's 99 cents uh, to be a part of the tgk memberships we do a midnight madness every weekend either on a friday night or on a saturday night whenever the mavericks do not play so the mavericks are playing friday night so for example we'll do a midnight madness saturday night i thought we had a great show last night by the way uh, a lot of interaction a lot of uh it was hilarious man. We, i think we had a good show and so again if you want to be a part of those shows it's just 99 cents to be a part of the be a part of the channel and uh, that'll get you access to all the emojis and everything that we have down below. Again, it means a lot. Uh, but um, uh, right after this little promo, we'll get straight into predictions uh, for today's game. Right, man let's get into the game predictions for today man uh let's see what they got the mavericks at let's see what they got them at let's see let's see oh wow look at that on the road ladies and gentlemen on the road your dallas mavericks are favored by three and a half acknowledge me favored by three and a half today man Favored by three and a half. See, the, the Rockets might not have a problem, but... You're not the beard. You're not the system. You're the problem. You're uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. The Rockets might not be the problem. The problem is going to be the Mavericks for Houston today. Uh, so right now, they are favored by three and a half. A total uh, score of 229. Again, Mavericks are favored by three and a half. A total score of 229. They, they, it looks like they got it a bit of a, a defensive game so far. So, uh, Lockbox, I know you've been watching the show. You already know what uh, we go to next. We got the Golden Eye sound effect. That's where we get our predictions going. All right, man. Let me get my prediction going. Write down your prediction. Let me see. Let me think. I'm going to carry 229. They, think, they, they might think this is a defensive game. Huh. I'm going to say... I'm gonna say, what am I, what am I gonna say? I'm gonna say 124, and then the Little Rockets. Uh, what we gonna do here? I'm gonna say, damn. I, I feel like, yeah, I'm, I might be a little bit, I might be drinking the Kool-Aid a bit much, but for me, Lockbox, I got the Mavericks. 124 to the Rockets, 105, bro. Mavericks, 124 to the Rockets, 105. What is your score prediction, bro? Hmm. Considering we didn't know if Luka was going to play, I'm probably going to go... I'll take the Mavs at maybe 117. The Houston Rockets... 98 97 something like that Ooh. look we're gonna hold them and I'm only, right and, I, and i'm only saying this prediction because if the mavericks are who we think they are now if the mavericks want to continue being what they want to be and move up this is a great opportunity to become the fifth seed right you don't throw this game away when you have clear advantages on both sides of the court like it's not even an advantage you have a big advantage on both sides of the court Right now, the Rockets are playing with desperation and all that. But when you have a size and talent, 
if the Mavericks utilize it and they're motivated and they come out here and they do what they need to do, I can see them being the Rockets like this. I can definitely see them. Let's get into the, the comments, man. Let's see what the folks thinking down here below. Again, if y'all haven't hit a like on the video, hit a like, man. It's not too late. It always goes a long way, and I always appreciate it. Uh, Nick says, uh, 123-109, Mavs. Man, look, wait up. Man, we almost, look, Knicks, we think alike. We think alike, Knicks. Uh, Pasquale says, 119-110. Bet, bet, bet. A nine-point victory. I'll take it, man. I will, we'll take a win by any means necessary, right? Uh, Martin Blake says, Mavs, 140, Rockets, 70. Damn. Uh, Rockets lost already do AAC to stack guys. That's a big, that's a big time victory right there. Uh, Colin says 117-103. We'll take a 14-point victory. Yes, sir. Mailbox, 125-95. What was your prediction again, Lockbox? 117-98? 97-98, something like that. We can hold them under 100. Hold them under 100. <laughs> Savage, I, <laughs> Savage says, I don't think this is a blowout, but I hope so. Shoot, I'm all about it if it comes true. Same, same. That's what I prefer. Uh, Gina Kemp says 124-114 Mavs Lukai dominance tonight. Uh-oh, here we go. Johnny B says, what does he say? He says 119-113 Rockets. Oh. Hey, uh, it's the reverse jinx. It's the reverse jinx. Uh, Savage says, I'm surprised Lukai hasn't taken off in national media yet. Yeah, because they ain't been watching. You know what I'm saying? They ain't been watching. Kareem, what's up? Kareem says uh, 124-109 Mavs, I'm assuming. I'm, I'm gonna assume Mavs. Edison, 122-110. We'll take a 12-point victory. And Richard says 132-118 Mavs. Hell yeah. Look, man. I, I normally like stay all the way up until tip off, but there's a party going on back here. They got I got beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, greens, raw, raw, beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, rack. You man. They got a lot of food back there, man, and you already know how Mexicans do it, man. When the fajitas get going, I, I got to get going, too, you know? Um, uh, hold on. Uh, Nick says, uh, remember Johnny B's uh, soundbite? Come on, man. No. The, this is Johnny B's new soundbite. Hold on, hold on. For, for, those that, for those that don't know, there is another level on my channel. If you want a soundbite specifically for your name, so whenever you comment, I'll play it on the first comment. But Johnny B has, this is Johnny B's new uh, sound bite. Check it out. We done with the 90s and Jordan with no left hand. He bit trash comments. <laughs> I'm gonna play it again because I love it. <laughs> we done with the 90s and Jordan with no left hand. He bit trash comments. Garbage. <laughs> man, I, I, I love these. Uh, we done with the 80s, done with the 90s sound effects, man. They're, they're hilarious. Uh, Johnny B says, I'm 0 and 10 in predictions. That's crazy. Uh, Edison, sub, teacher K, let's go, Mavs. Yes, sir. Let's get it, bro. Um, <laughs> Thought, Thoughts of Lyle says, uh, what's up, 117-103, Mavs? I'm assuming Mavs. I just be assuming Mavs all the time. Uh, again, man, for those that are watching, definitely check out Lock Box Entertainment down below. Uh, I, I need to, I need to, yeah, he, he, you're in the description down below. Uh, again, y'all gonna check him out, man. Does great work, great content, uh, a different flair, uh, sound effects galore. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's it's very entertaining. So definitely go and check him out, bro. Any anything you want to add to that, bro? Uh, it's straight edutainment, entertainment, education. Just bringing it all in one. Sometimes our fan base goes up and down, but you always will have TJ keep TGK. And Lockbox ENT, and also the, all the other Mavs content creators. We talk Mavs, Mavs Digest, slightly biased. It's just a pleasure to be in a place once again where Dallas Mavs fans connect. Hell yeah, hell yeah, man! It's awesome, bro. And and again, we we all have, we all got space in in this in this uh what what we call this circle, you know doing mass content there, there's isn't room for everybody man and i feel like if we all collaborate and work together we're we gonna we're gonna go further you know so i, I think it's a, it's a beautiful thing man and again check out lockbox and mavericks digest they are both going to be on we talk maths tonight bro it's gonna be an awesome quadruple squad of uh content creators there uh king rail mavericks digest lockbox entertainment on we talk maths tonight also check out playback Go to We Talk Mass Playback. 
I should be in there. I should be in there a little bit today. Uh, but check it out, man. It's, it's a good, fun time talking, uh, you know, uh, how would I say, uh, barbershop basketball in there. It's pretty dope. Uh, but before we head out, man, let me read a couple more comments that we got up in here. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, player intro starting. Let's go. Uh, Johnny B says, 1 in 10 today. Go Houston. Oh, God. Here we go. Anyway, I hope Johnny B liked this new uh, sound effect. Again, uh, for those interested, uh, next Saturday will be the next uh, Midnight Madness. It's 99 cents to get in there. And we're going to head out of here uh, showing you uh, Lockbox uh, new signature that I got on the show for whenever he comes through. And I'll end it off with the Midnight Madness logo. Again, let's go Mavs, man. Let's have a good time. Leave a like on the video if you haven't. Appreciate y'all being here, man. Appreciate you, Lockbox. But show. It was a pleasure. Box Box Entertainment.